How to check rotation on a scroll compressor. When we say scroll compressor rotation, it actually indicates the rotation of the orbiting scroll. Because the other scroll or spiral remains stationary during the compression process. However, the rotation can be clockwise, which is normal, and it can also be in the reverse direction. For a single phase scroll compressor, reverse orbiting scroll rotation is not normal but it can be normal for a three-phase scroll compressor. That is why scroll compressor rotation check is a very important task in compressor troubleshooting. Checking for normal rotation. The simplest way to perform a scroll compressor rotation check is to measure the suction and the discharge pressure. If there is a pressure difference between these two pressures, that means the orbiting scroll rotation is clockwise, which is okay. If there is no noise while the compressor is operating, that also means the rotation is normal. And finally, if the compressor draws current as much as it should. This is also another indication that the scroll in the compressor is rotating normally. Checking for reverse rotation. If there is no pressure difference between the suction pressure and the discharge pressure that means there is a reverse rotation in the orbiting scroll. If the compressor makes noise while operating, this can also mean there is a reverse rotation, but if the noise occurs at shutdown, this is normal. Finally, if the air compressor is not drawing as much current as it should, this indicates that there is a reverse rotation occurring inside the scroll compressor. Does Sunrise Metal manufacture the rotating parts of a scroll air compressor? There is only one part that rotates in a scroll compressor. That is the orbiting scroll. Sunrise Metal manufactures the orbiting scroll as well as the fixed scroll and the housing for a scroll compressor. Our main focus is to manufacture these parts for medical scroll compressors. The main job of Sunrise Metal is to manufacture various components using the die casting process. Our team uses the most advanced die casting processes such as vacuum casting and semi-solid casting for manufacturing the rotating part as well as the other parts of a scroll compressor. We offer other services aside from the die casting processes. For example, we perform machining and surface finishing operations on these scroll compressor parts. Moreover, if our clients provide us with the design, we can help prepare a cost-effective production plan. We also design and modify the parts if it is necessary. Our manufactured scroll compressor parts always have a high quality because we go to mass production after making demo parts and testing them. Moreover, we have long-experienced workers and engineers in our team who help to manufacture these parts with accuracy and precision. For these reasons, both our native and international clients are satisfied to have our services. Can a three-phase scroll compressor run backwards? A three-phase scroll compressor can run backward if the polarity of the power legs is changed or reversed. Although it is not natural for a single-phase scroll compressor to run backward, it is still possible. While the compressor is running, the scroll rotation may occur in the reverse direction for a few reasons. One is if there is a problem with the power supply, or another one is if the connection of power gets interrupted, the scroll compressor will run backward because of this. However, it is very normal for a three-phase scroll compressor to run backward, though it is not always necessary. Running a three-phase scroll compressor backward may be important while troubleshooting. In most cases, if a loud knocking or humming sound is coming from the compressor, the polarity of the power legs can be reversed to make the three-phase scroll compressor run backward in order to fix the scroll compressor noise. Is the direction of scroll compressor rotation important? When the orbiting scroll rotates normally in a clockwise manner, it helps to compress the air efficiently and then discharge it. A scroll compressor operating or rotating in reverse is basically a scroll expander. If there aren't any safety features in the compressor, it can potentially damage the compressor. Reverse rotation can happen during a power outage if no check valve is present or damaged. Because the check valve only allows one-way discharge of air or gas, so, the gas can't backflow into the system once discharged. However, for a three-phase compressor, the reverse rotation will help to eliminate the knocking or humming sound. For these reasons, a scroll compressor rotation check is very important for compressor troubleshooting.